Today we've conducted a successful demonstration with the University of Technology in Sydney. And this has been a four-way collaboration supported through the Defence Innovation Hub and using our partnership with the Defence Science and Technology Group, DSTG. This four-way collaboration focused on how we could create a brain robotic interface that will allow a soldier, rather than operating an autonomous system with a command console, to operate the system using brain signals. What was created was a headset that a soldier could use using the HoloLens 2 model that had a AI decoder via a Raspberry Pi that would translate brain signals into explainable instructions. What's so exciting about this technology is it has the opportunity to be used with a number of different autonomous systems. We conducted two short demonstrations today. The first demonstration showed a soldier operator commanding an autonomous system, being the Vision 60 ghost robot, to a series of waypoints along the ground, and this was conducted successfully. The potential of the project is, is actually very broad. At its core, it's translating brainwaves into zeros and ones, and that can be implemented into a, a number of different systems. It just happens that uh, in this particular instance, we're translating into control for a robot. The second demonstration was having a soldier operator acting in the role of a section commander and providing directions to both the ghost robots and other members of their fire team. And they conducted a simulated patrol clearance of a number of buildings here at the Madura Range Urban Operations Centre. This technology enables me to not only control the ghost robot as well as monitor its video feed, but it allows me to be situationally aware of my surroundings as well as my team to be able to control all movements of that battlefield clearance. This is very much an idea about what might be possible in the future. We're really excited to see where the technology might go and to work with our stakeholders to develop a wide range of use cases in order to better determine how we can support the military practitioner and the warfighter.